All right. No man's sky. Permadeath. Let's see if we can jump right in here. Where are we at? Uh, within Eden 1. That is my base, I believe. That's right, because we're on Sentinels Eden. Perfect. Okay. Dive right in here. I'm trying to remember what I was doing the last time. Um, I was... I know I just built my base. We got solar power. Uh, we got a teleporter. And beyond that, I don't remember what else we were doing. We'll figure it out, though. I know I know. I have to go off-world to kind of track down. Oh. Oil oh boy. I got... Uh, <clears throat> I got real scared there for a minute because as it loaded in, like there was nothing. Took a second to load in. All right, so we do have solar power here. Let's check the battery out. We are okay. We're using 20 and we've got almost 100%. We got 100% charge on this battery. Dope, dope, dope. There's okay, so just a basic base here. Just meant to be a basic thing. Oh, uh, let's see. What else can we build? I don't think I don't think there's really any other technology I can build because I've um I need phosphorus and I need uranium. Phosphorus and uranium. You know what? Let's let's run to the let's run to the station let's go and warp here and actually while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and um sentinels Eden Where's the station? Is this the station? No, that's the system. Um, what's, let's see. Okay, this is the system. How can I, can I name the station? Okay, we need phosphorus and uranium, right? So... Doesn't look like we have that available to us here, though. Let me double check what I've got in my pockets. Nothing good. Nothing good. My ship is still here. Well, actually, my ship's here and there, right? Okay. Let's see if I go to this, if I can... If I can name this station. No. Can't do that. I want to name the station. Okay. Ah, nope. That's the. That's not the station. This is system. Unknown moon. So this is where I started. Let's let's rename this this guy. Um, mm -hmm. It was it was super hot. I remember that, right? It was hot. You know what? Let's just let's just call it Prime. I'm just gonna call it Prime. Since we started there. Um, all right, so I need to go, I need to go to the signal. That should be good, because then I can get some more um, supplies. 
I'm not looking to jump systems just yet. I want I really want to explore this first system. I don't think I've been to that planet yet. Or moon. Alright, I have not been to I've not been to this moon. Pulse engine disengaged. Looks like we got ourselves a crash site here, though, so. And we got some, uh, some alloy we can farm here. Copper or something. Oh, no, we want to go in here. It's like it's like this this spot right here. All right, what kind of temperatures we got? Weather sterile, spread thin. Looks to be cold. Looks <laughs> looks to be very cold. It is very cold. Partial records available. Cool, cool, cool. We got the freighter. Request the log. Blueprint. Hyperdrive blueprint. All right. I need a mic. I need four more microprocessors. Uh, we can begin this installation though. Hop in here, somebody. Life support system. Got the chromatic metal. We just need the microprocessor switch, so. Uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and make some more launch fuel. Real quick. Go ahead. Exosuit. Let me quick store some of this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this launch fuel in my. I got plenty of launch fuel right now. Uh, paraffinium, we're gonna put that in there. Anything that's kind of capped out. At, we don't have anything at 500 right now, do we? No. But I do have these exosuit upgrades that I can plot routes to. I forgot about those, so we can we can get some exosuit upgrades as well. Potentially after we're done here. Uh, the fauna is rich here, though. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to require 110,000 units to buy the microprocessors. Processors, okay. Uh, where am I going? Up there? Away. Let me pop up in here. Let's, let's see what's what. Um... Yeah, drop pods, install the hyperdrive. Okay, so it wants me to it wants me to install that hyperdrive. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what we got here. Okay. Looks like this, uh, this drop pod might be inside of this. Get rid of this junk. Salvage frigate. Now oh, there's still a there's still a pod right here. 
I'm just not uh, apparently privy to how to get into it. Damn. This one was way buried. Look at this thing. Way down in here. All right. That's it. Give back to my ship, space trucker, before I die. This is a cool looking planet. Looks like temperatures are kind of leveling off, actually. So it's not the it's not the worst at this point. Man, look at that! Look at that uh, planet right there, though. That's sick. And that planet right there, just kind of everything all like stacked up. Not gonna lie, that's. Hold on, let me let me get a maybe get a photo mode here. Too good to too good to pass up. Let's see, where's the, oh no, wrong way. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Um. Copper deposits, pyrite, pyrite. Hopefully we don't have to like go through a door to get this to this cargo pod. No, we got direct access. Let's go. Yo, what's up, penguin? Oh, we got some antimatter. Oh yeah, this game is great for taking screenshots. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing for screenshots. Okay, so during the day, this this planet is, I mean, it's a little toxic, but you know, it's 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 okay. Um, let's see what we got here. What kind of what kind of resources we got? There's really not a lot to speak of. They want me to go. That's off planet. Uh, copper. Pyrite. Magnetized ferrite deposit. Oh, that's actually. That actually be really, uh, really nice. Looks like there's a cave over here too. Might be able to snag some oxygen down here. Wow, look at this. Look at this trench. Not even a cave. It's just a. Of course, there's a sentinel down here. I think we got a little bit of oxygen here. Little O2. Oh, we got some stalactites I can try to... Let's see what these guys got going on. Cobalt, the hydrogen, gold. There it is. Silver. See if we can't find the uh, other precious metals here while we're rolling through.
see magnetized ferrets out there apparently. My O2 is a lot better since I upgraded my suit. I'm hoping we can snag those other upgrades here after I, after I get moving. So we can really kind of kick this suit into gear. Okay, what do we got here? Sodium, take some oxygen. Let's see, looks like that ferrite's up there. I think we might have to just. Three slots. What do I got that I need to drop? What can we get rid of? Silicate powder, probably. This is pyrite. Not looking for pyrite. Here I go. That's the one we're going to be looking for. Ah, there you are. much of it is there. Very small deposit. Unless that stuff over there is also magnetized ferrite. Oxygen. Oh boy. That is a chasm. High right. Don't need the pyrite, I don't think. Unless salvage frigate module, let's see, ninety-five thousand. But if I have a if I have a freighter, I can convert it to technology. Apparently. Sodium. Oxygen, sodium. That's copper. You know what? I'll take the copper, honestly. I'm 
not gonna lie, this guy looks this guy looks threatening. He looks like he's really he's not having it. Gotta watch out for that since we're on uh perma permadeath. I don't have space for copper. Oof. Dang. All right, we got to go back to the ship then. Unless I can find some uh, technology. For some, some such nonsense. Very tech. There it is. the one oh I can't even take the technology uh, let me refill this real quick man I really gotta you know drop the silica powder in exchange for a technology module yeah that's a good trade Still many things to unlock technology wise. A lot of ferrite here though. Oh, I don't have any ferrite either. This thing. Silicate powder. Let's go ahead and recharge this with condensed carbon. Getting up to the surface here. Let's see, how long is it going to take us? Damn. I realized I dropped so low. Okay. Let's see. Ship is that way. Actually, buried technology along the way. Love that. I had to cut through the entire middle of the planet to get there. Ooh, that's a big gap. No. Oh, oh boy. I can feel that one. Salvage tech, there we go. What is that thing? Oh, 
Sentry's coming. Okay. You know what we're gonna do though? Once we get in the ship, we're gonna we're gonna track down those uh, suit upgrades first. I don't know what they're gonna be, but hopefully we can get something good. It'll free up an inventory spot too if we can track these down. Off the route. Drop pod detected. Which way? Over there, huh? Yo, hold on. What's this thing? Well, now I, now I gotta stop. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if this thing is friendly or not. Honestly, that seems like a sentinel. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. I don't like it. I don't think it's friendly. <laughs> and this is permadeath, so I really can't. Uh, I really can't afford to be taking risks. You know. At least not yet. Not until uh, till I'm substantially you know, kitted out. Microprocessor, look at that. All right, let's get a suit upgrade too. Uh, hologram. Get damaged. Sodium nitrate, antimatter housing. So I need to make a can I quick transfer this? Let me quick transfer some of this stuff. Need to make an antimatter housing. Which can I not do? Because I don't know how to make one yet. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Mm. Sodium nitrate as well. Frick, dude. Um. All right, I need sodium nitrate, and I need. I realize I need all this stuff. Antimatter, antimatter housing. I thought I could make one already. I thought I saw that I could make one. Because I have antimatter. Just don't have the housing. Alright, well, here's what we're going to have to do place a beacon there. We're going to have to go out to space, and I'm going to have to figure that out. Flying off the moon here. Let's go back to the space station where I might be able to buy some of this stuff. Maybe we might be able to buy. If we're lucky.
I want those suit upgrades though. I didn't realize it was gonna cost me so much. Especially after I bought the plans. Oof. Matter how's it? I do need some microprocessors too. Let me just go ahead and get one of those, some of those. No, I can buy carbon nanotubes. I don't know if I need, I don't know if I can just give the carbon nanotubes or if I really need the, the housing itself. Because ah, I have to, I guess I have to have the sodium nitrate itself. Let's see, any sodium nitrate in here? Magnetized ferrite. No, let me see what I got. Oh, uh, let's see. Oof. Hmm, useless in its current form. I could sell it for 100k. I uh, feel like it might be worth something later on. Oh, uh, we can sell these though. Let's see. Paraffinium. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I can feed creatures with that. I don't think there's anything else I can really part with at the, at the moment that I. Well, we got some cash there, so. All right. Sodium nitrate antimatter housing. So let's. We obviously can't do the drop pod just yet. We should be able to before too long, though. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna do this warp stuff. Right. So let's. Let's see what I need to do for the warp drive. Uh, log, there we go. Install the hyperdrive. Okay, I need microprocessors, which I think I have. So let's see about the hyperdrive. I know I need chromatic. Oh, no. There we go. That's fixed. Cool. So, okay, installed the hyperdrive. Now I should learn to do the antimatter housing. So, because I'm gonna have to make my my cores. Right, right. I should I should be making the housing soon, since I now I have to make fuel. And then I just gotta get sodium nitrate. Okay. All right. Looking for antimatter. Un unknown planet here. Aggressive Sentinels. Yeah, that sounds not great. Uh, okay, we've been that way. Oh, 
Oh, it detected the antimatter that's over there. Okay. I should have known by the big, by the giant ass marker. Right back on the moon I was on. All right. Right back to where we were. Here we go. Sick. Picked up some antimatter earlier, so we're ahead of the game on the antimatter. Man, what I wouldn't kill for this game to have flight mechanics like uh, Star Citizen. You're fair, right? You need an advanced laser for that. Cold protection's uh, pretty rough right now, but we can always go underground if we need to. I am low on ammo. That's not good. I just realized that. Let's warm up for a minute. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of O2 in there. And Gotta get away from the Sentinels. So this is kind of my least favorite part of the things they do. Oh, look, we got a little, uh, I see, I think I see the pod that I gotta go to, maybe. I'm gonna stop by this building, though, see what's, see what's going on here. Spring eggs. Oh yeah, here's the antimatter. Take the blueprint. Thank you. Carbon. Damn, 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 damn. Because <clears throat> I want those eggs outside too. The star starship's out of range. And I can't summon it. Because it's got to have a hundred percent. Um, fuel, uh, which is crazy to me. Mm. I really want these eggs because I know they sell for a lot. But I don't have the spot. <clears throat> for them 
Actually, I do. The real question is, am I going to fight these spiders? Got one. Ha ha ha. Whew. What was that that got me? Shoot at you? What's going on? With that? Technology I'll stand out here in the cold for a minute. Swarm subsiding. Good, and this thing's worth almost 70,000 units. What is hitting me there? Jeez. Oxygen recyclers critically damaged. Got it repaired. Got two of these eggs now. That's good. Very good. Create an antimatter housing. I still don't have the room for that yet, but we will. Let's see, what is that? What does that cost? I can't even look, can I? That's falling very quickly. Alright, looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a cave situation here. Oxygen, solid. Oh, look at that. Platinum. Freaking Sentinels, dude. A locks gin, little gold, little platinum. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's see what happens when I... Can you make sodium nitrate? Yes, you can. There we go. Let's do that. I can make the antimatter housing now, but... 
think I will need like 10 sodium nitrate for that, uh, that upgrade. So I'm just going to do 30 real quick. Ooh, you know what? I better just keep going because I'm not going to have the spot, for the sodium, uh, and the sodium nitrate. So might as well just convert it all, I suppose. Then we can head back to the ship. Mm -hmm. Almost done. can't pick it up no way all right all right all right all right all right might as well use the carbon use my magnetized ferrite how is it full i just use my magnetized ferrite full full Starship's out of range. Hmm, this is not good. This is not good. It's not the worst, but it's not my favorite. All right, I'm gonna drop the magnetized ferrite. I can get more. I can make more. Checking for gold real quick. Platinum. Gold. That's perfect. Catch anything up there. Sodium. All right, let's get let's get to the ship. Once we get to the ship, I can start making a few things. We can start swapping around some uh, some gear. So I definitely want to avoid that. Yo, what's up, professor? How's it going? How you doing? All right. Made it to the ship. It doesn't have to be an event every time I make it to the ship, you know? Like, you could just let me get in. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to... Go ahead and quick transfer this to the ship. Transfer that to the ship. Transfer this to the ship. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, we need to make antimatter housings. I need two of them. And then I have sodium nitrate now, or at least I should. Where did it go? There's sodium nitrate. Okay. So I need to craft a warp cell. All right, I'm crafting one warp cell for now. I'm gonna throw it in my hyperdrive. Sick. I'm not gonna warp anywhere yet though. Um, and we are gonna go back. It's 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 here that my drop pod is, right? Uh, 
That's my old navigational marker. Let me go to that out of the atmosphere here. Let's see if I can't find it. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I think that's where I just was. Could be my old navigational marker. Uh oh, pirates. Use my sodium nitrate. I don't know how to lock on with these, uh, nope, these missiles. Hold S to lock on and chase your target. I didn't realize there was like an auto lock on option. Corvax casing. All right. We defeated the pirates. Okay. I'm, I'm not digging the fact that I use the thing to find a, uh, There's a building over here to find a, um, what do you call it? A drop pod. I'm not crazy about the fact that I had a drop pod marked here and I even saved the location. I saved the beacon. Um, and yet I can't seem to find it. Plains of Avush. I support gel pack. All right. What else we got going on here? Navigational data. Atlas Pass required. Got a Gek Relic. Can uh, sell that thing for sure. And we got to send it. We'll just chill till this guy's done. I kind of want this guy to pass on so I can use my scanner. fingers I don't know what that is okay while this while this sandals here I'm gonna just go investigate whatever these metal fingers are Me uranium Yo, that's sick. Do I have a spot in my inventory? Now I do. Hundred and sixty two uranium? Is 
This is a big find. Organic rock? Not crazy about the amount of these like bigger creatures are here. Cause I know they're hostile. You can you can tell. Organic rock. As Matt Gauntlet required. Okay. Nothing I can even do about it, so. Drop pod. I saw the icon for the drop pod. Is it off world? Oh, that's a humming sack. Not a drop pod. Frick. I think that I have lost my drop pod and my suit upgrade. Oh shit. Uranium and throw this in there. You know what it was? I I think I have it as a as a sub. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Now we'll be able to find that drop pod. Oh look, we're not even that far from it. As far as I can tell. Oh, okay. We're still like three minutes. Let me go to orbit. This will work. Nope, it won't work. See how close this will get me. be able to repair this now 
sick. Um. All right, new slot. Then I want to do another one. Here's hoping I'll be able to make whatever I need. But this will give us this will give us more slots in the inventory. This will be great. It's pretty far. All right. To the stars. Look at that. Perfect landing. Definitely did that manually. All right. Need another antimatter housing. Sodium nitrate I can do. Carbon nanotubes I can do. The housing I need. Oxygen. Good news is we're right by a cave. Carbon. Oxygen. There we go. I probably should grab some sodium too, given the fact that I used a lot of my sodium for the sodium nitrate. Too many precious metals here right now, so not too worried about it. Cobalt's pretty hard, pretty easy to find in any cave anywhere. This thing is hunting these things. Let's go. Matter housing. Upgrade this sucker. Upgrade the exosuit. Let's go ahead and craft a. Uh, 27 more oxygen. Let's just go ahead and make a other. Uh, I don't have the antimatter, do I? Uh, I need condensed carbon for that. Well, all right. Well, we've got at least the housing for now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Let's see. Secondary missions. Warp to another system. I don't want to do that yet. Uh, 
Not just yet. We'll make sure we go back to our home base, unlock some technology, stock up on stuff. Because <laughs> once we once we warp, you know who knows who knows what's gonna be around. Then we'll check and see what plants we haven't hit yet. There may be some really good stuff around. I mean, heck, I just found a ton of uranium, so. I need the uranium for something. I need the phosphorus and uranium for some sort of upgrade, but I don't remember what it was. Was it to install a technology? No, no, no. It was for something. Let's come sell these. We'll sell the eggs. Don't want to sell the salvage data. Interesting. They're not buying them, huh? I needed a wiring loom for something as well, so I'm gonna buy one of those. Again, I cannot remember what it was for, but. Ah, here we go. Sell both of those. Uranium's actually not worth that much. Heck. That storm crystals were 200k. Holy crap. I need value curiosity. I wonder if a Corvex would take that. From me. I don't. Can't hire that guy just yet. I don't have the cash for it. <clears throat> That's a cool ship. over here if there are any to talk to you man the space station is oddly empty right now purchase upgrade modules okay here we go movement module it's really far purple upgrade for the exosuit Okay, that's a jetpack upgrade. Life support module upgrade. Shield module upgrade. Underwater protection. Dang, dude. I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough nanites. Ooh. Hot damn. I think. Uh, ooh. Hmm. I think we'll just save up for now. I'm kind of surprised I don't have more nanites than that. Yo, what's up, Stoker? Not much, dude. Just playing. 
we're still in the same system. We're just, uh, oh yeah, these are for uh, vehicles. I haven't upgraded too much yet on my base and all that. I need to warp to another system. Um, I'm checking out what I can get. What can I afford here? I can get up to B, but I don't really feel like upgrading this ship is the play. I think if anything, I'll just save up to buy a better ship. Let's see what things cost here. And honestly, I'd rather like most of these, most of these things like are gonna go better. Purchase new slot for 130,000 units. I mean, that's good. I don't need it yet. All right, so we're gonna go check out the rest of the system. <clears throat> Unlock some technology back in my base. Uh, let's see, what else can we get rid of? Quick transfer to the ship, quick transfer to the ship. Transfer to the ship. Anything I don't need like imminently, I'll leave the refiner here. Anything I don't need imminently, I'm gonna leave on the ship. Yeah, we're making some pretty good progress. Um, I've filled up my warp drive, so I haven't really progressed too far. I've been I've been kind of taking my time, but I got a base um, and all that. Let me see where are we at. Let's see what I have for my. Catalog and guide discoveries. That's what unknown planet, unknown planet, unknown planet. Okay, so there's three planets out here I haven't even discovered. Undiscovered on that one. Let's let's check out that one. This one. Aggressive sentinels. Holy crap. Let's see what it, let's see what it looks like though. Not sure that I want to be involved with aggressive Zendals, but. Uh, Star Citizen. Star Citizen is for sure. Um, this one's a, this one's a really good time sink too. If you just like exploration games, since everything's procedurally generated, like, you know, you're always going to find something different. Although I will say a lot of the textures and then like all the <clears throat> different biomes and things kind of tend to look the same as you explore because there's like similar shapes and just reused assets all right now this is an interesting planet looks to be can't tell if those are clouds or if those are puddles oh no we got lots of we got lots of water here unknown building let's uh let's take a peek here Eighteen degrees Celsius, not bad. Balmy weather. I heard you. Oh, look at this guy. Oh yeah, give him the ferrite dust. Oh. I didn't give him the thing he wanted, apparently. Wasn't in the ferrite dust. I'm gonna need a pass to get in here on a yep. Need an Atlas key. Same there. Alright, not too much else for me here. Go to that way. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, not worth it. Not worth it. Dang. It really sucks that uh, you find like a perfect planet like this. Like this is a really good planet. And uh, it's just, these Sentinels are gonna be so hostile, it's not even worth trying. All right, we just covered it. It's not worth our time. There'll be other planets. All right, let's, I just wanna make sure we touch base everywhere, see what we can see. I don't know if I've discovered that planet or not. Unmapped, but not undiscovered. How about this guy. I'm sure if I've been to this one or not. Oh yeah, you can you can sink a lot of time in this game if you really want to. I'm just going to pulse that way. Undiscovered. There we go. It's got silver, copper, frost crystal. ships I wish there was a better way to do this than this auto lock on thing. I don't think it is helping me much. Oh, that guy just crashed right into me. I don't think I have anything to recharge it with. I'm, I might die here. Ooh.
I don't have anything to recharge the shields with. I don't have a regular sh shields or uh, weapons anymore either. As escape as possible. Insufficient fuel. Dicey. That was dicey. And my, uh, everything's f damaged. Ferrite, sodium nitrate. That was dicey. Really don't like the combat. It's hard. It's hard to like keep up. I feel like I don't have like a lot of control over where my stuff is. Uh, pretty hyper cluster. What is that? All right. What can I refuel this with? Need a hermetic seal. Sodium nitrate, pure ferrite, boy oh boy guys, these guys did a number on me. Let's see what resources we can just get here in space. I got major repairs to do on the ship here. And we can't, uh, we can't really pulse out, go anywhere else until we get this stuff fixed. So hopefully this is a resource heavy planet. To tell what's going on on the ground here. Is this all water? Interesting. Wow. Okay. That doesn't bode extremely well for my cause here. It's negative 52 degrees. And I spawn with this in the looking at me, of course. Let me get in here. Okay. Pure ferrite. Okay, so I need ferrite, sodium nitrate. I need chromatic metal. I need more hyper <laughs> microprocessors. Fuck. I need a hermetic seal for the pulse engine. I mean, they need condensed carbon.
Okay. Use this as our base of operations for the moment. Dense carbon. So we got that. And I need pure ferrite, sodium nitrate. Microprocessor, and chromatic metal. Should be able to make. Oh, I can make the hermetic seal. Sick. All right, pulse engine is back online, so that's good step. And we can get the the cannon. Photon cannon back online. Go ahead and take this. Sodium. It may not have any. amount of sodium there might be in uh, I don't remember how much I had to do that'll give me 20 and I need uh, 30 Not enough stabilizing we can we can go without the photons if I have to so that's okay so I think I think I will pick this thing up we're gonna get off this island because I'm not a fan of this is of this sentinel being here and there's not a lot of resources but we'll take off We'll kind of go see if there's a bigger con anywhere. Actually, I'm gonna fly up to space first and get a better better view of it. See if there's a bigger con that we can maybe land on. A 
guy here. Much better. Actually got somewhere we can kind of post up, maybe. Send them right off the bat. Gotta be honest, I'm, I'm a little over these Sentinel planets. Hopefully, the next system I go to isn't like this. Need those nanites. Yet. Actually, there's one closer. Go to that one. I don't know what these are. I need an escape plan in case these are not what I think they are. Alright, we're all good then. Let's see. Sodium? Yo, what's up, Die Living? How you doing, bud? Good to see you again. Let's see, we got any gold? We're usually live over here uh, Mondays and Thursdays, so probably when probably the best time to catch me here. How much are these pearls worth that I'm that I was snagging? Forty-two total value. Wait. 10,000 each, okay. And you know what? That's easy money though, right? Thursday it is? Yeah, it'll be around like 10, 10.30 probably. Uh, Eastern. We're working our way through a... A No Man's Sky playthrough that's... Uh, uh, all like permadeath. So, like a hardcore run. I think that's that sentinel above me is like pissed. See we got in here pearls, pearls, pearls. Apparently doesn't want me to give me this pearl. That's cool. I didn't want it anyway. All right, snag some O2. Let's see what else we can get here. Frost wart. I have a lot of need for the frost wart. 366 silver deposit 
800 units, 700 units. Any silver in the close vicinity? Yeah, we got some sodium over here though. Which is good, because then we can fix our uh, photons. But I may go back to my home base to do that, because I'm going to be honest, so far, I do love frozen planets, and I think this planet's kind of dope. But the sentinel activity in this system is is a little, uh, a little concerning. So I think we're going to go... Back to our home planets, because that should be that should be everything in the system. I should have discovered now. So I think we've done our due diligence, kind of seeing what's what. Oh no, wait, there's still one I haven't discovered. Um, I think it's that one. Wish I could like set a waypoint. Cause it's not the one it's not the one with the rings, it's the one across from it. So it's between the brown planets. And I'm here. The other big planet. So if I'm looking at the big planet. Yeah, then it's this one. Nope, I've discovered that one. Not this one, is it? Now this one's unmapped. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, bro. I have not fixed my photons yet. I don't have the sodium nitrate. Yeah, I hear you, but that's there's nothing like. Oof, this is gonna be rough. Because all I can do is fire my torpedoes. And they take forever to cool down. This auto lock on feature is trash, dude. Shit, but I don't have anything to repair it with. Yeah, I can't repair it. Come on, I almost had him. Their shield recharge, dude. Mine don't. I'm gonna die. This is how my permadeath is gonna end.
No, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's my whole permadeath run. Fuck. Well, you know, easy come, easy go, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, I should have, I should have repaired the, uh, oh, okay, weird. I should have repaired the, uh, it crashed my whole game. I died so hard it crashed my whole game. Ah, there goes my entire, my entire save there is just gone now. Deleted. In case you guys are wondering how permadeath works. I mean, that's okay. That was rough. That was rough. I should have, I should have repaired my, so the problem is I had my torpedoes. But my main, I didn't repair the main photons because I didn't get enough sodium. Well, I had enough sodium in my pocket. I just didn't do anything. And it won't let you run from the pirates. So, um, I literally just had to, just had to go about my, my day. Wait, why is there a save here? It's supposed to delete your save. Hold on a second. Did it not? You guys saw nothing. You've seen nothing. Maybe pirates don't count. I, I think pirates count. That's this is definitely the planet save I was just on. Um, so now I'm curious. Because it's supposed to, with the permit, it's supposed to delete your save. Wait, so... So it just started me on this planet instead? This planet was in the system I was just in, so it just started me here in this system I was already in before? No, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're gonna- we're gonna delete that play. Well, you know, it was only five hours of gameplay, apparently. Um... Let's see... we're gonna delete that save. It's supposed to automatically delete it anyway. It's supposed to just be like, pew, you're gone. Um, I know it was, it was listed as survival, but it was supposed to be permadeath, which is weird. All right, permadeath. I guess it, I guess it was accidentally on survival mode. I don't know how that happened. Maybe when we restarted, when I died the first time, it reset to survival. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna make a couple of changes to permadeath here, though. Okay, so, all right, man, I didn't even warp out of my first system. Dang, that sucks because I had a base build and everything. Okay, survival difficulty, challenging is fine. Natural resources scarce. Sprinting is standard. Standard. Technology damage is challenging. Yeah, no joke. Uh, save delete on death. Fuel usage is uh, expensive. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything, everything. The crafting is uh, was pretty. Pretty rough. In inventory stack limits. Restricted. Okay. On foot combatant. Hostile space combatants. Hostile. Um, predators on. I'm going to turn the tutorial mission. Well, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to leave it on.
Uh, standard. Is there not a way to change Sentinel activity? Doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. While well, exploring on foot, let's just do standard. Do standard for space combat. Um, goods availability trade. That's the trade terminal. Trade terminal can be scarce. That's okay. Um, fuel usage. I'm gonna do standard fuel usage just because it takes so much time. I'm also going to put natural resources to standard. The survivability is fine. I like the challenge of having, but um, we could we could mine resources a little faster. I want to do the permadeath so we you know we have that risk of losing it all, but I don't, you know, I don't want to like burn myself out on the on the farming of resources. So maybe maybe that'll help us have a little bit more enjoyable playthrough a little, a little faster I think that's I think that's it I think that's it we still got the risk of permadeath um, things are still you know challenge uh, survival difficulty and stuff still cranked up a little bit um, but we're gonna keep some of these things kind of a normal mode all right let's try it new start One of these days, I think I'm going to do an edited series where I do a, a playthrough like surviving so many days in uh, in permadeath mode with everything like turned on. All right, where we start? What do we get? New start, new planet, negative 55 degrees Celsius. Holy crap. All right. RSY19 is where we're starting. No terrain manipulators, so we are not going to be able to burrow in. Hopefully there's a cave nearby. All right, we got oxygen we can grab real quick. We're going to need we're going to need uh sodium for sure. Scanners critically damaged. All right. Let's get to this cave real quick. Oh, look how much faster we're gaining resources now. All right, we get we lucked out with this small little cave here. Need some ferrite dust to uh, fix the scanner. I don't have enough. I need 75. Let's see if we can't snack some rocks out here. Got hydrogen. Man, after all that work to get all that technology too for our base and the solar panel and everything. Okay, the scanner. Recharge my hazardous protection. Grab some carbon.
lots of carbon here. Starship signal detected. Where is it at? How far? 500. Let's go get some of the sodium here. Hello, too. Rack up some ferrite dust because we're going to need metal plating. All that again. Need all that stuff again. Mine these. Mm, frost, what I need the hazmat glove, dang. What's this over here? Frozen tubers. Don't know what those do. I do like frozen planets. There's something about them. They're, they're just really peaceful. Weapon charge depleted. Look at that, guys. And not, not having the resource management of that we had before is a lot better. I didn't want to leave off the main storyline because past the the warping, I don't really know what the main storyline consists of anymore because when I originally played the main story, it was so different. So I also kind of want to see what the main story is once we get past that part. Search, search, search. I thought we were having a good run, too. I was making plans for the future. The next system. I was already thinking about it. And that was my that was my mistake. Alright, back in the radiant pillar. Launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. Dope, dope, dope. Actually, I don't want to read the log. Why was I doing that? Repair ship systems. Pulse engine is critically damaged. Need pure ferrite. Need dihydrogen jelly. Need metal plating. Metal plating we can make. Use some dihydrogen. Got O2 over here. Let's go. scanner yet do I shoot um 
All right, let me go back out because I'm looking for dihydrogen, which is here. It's going to be on the surface, though. I was looking forward to someday buying a jetpack upgrade. I'm stuck. I'm stuck with this shitty jetpack for a while longer now. Should be able to repair that. Medic seal I've got to get still. Should be able to get the hermetic seal over here. Boom, boom, boom. Plot the route. Just over there, not too far. Should be able to repair these now. Need pure ferrite. Yo, pure ferrite. Coming up. That's 800 units. I have to go to get that hermetic seal. And I had all those like really cool, uh, really cool things I could eat to give me oxygen too. It's a bummer. Couple of things I'm actually, you know, pretty upset about losing. Uh, let's go to sodium, sodium nitrate. We'll just have to use that. Be a good chance to pick up ferrite dust and stuff, though. Since I can mine it faster, we'll be able to build a lot of metal plating and such. That's not good. That's not a cave. Can I beat the weather?
Gonna need sodium. Oh boy, that's that's ticking down fast. I got nowhere to go. This run this run might be over before it starts. Holy crap. Zigzag our way over there. Oh boy. Can we do it? Can we make it? Oh no. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Whew. Made it. Close. Close one. Are there supplies? I lost my cool outfit too. I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get a new outfit. Medic seal acquired. We're gonna have to chill in here for a moment because I don't have that much sodium. Whew, it freeze fast out there. All right, storm's clearing. Let's give it a second before we uh, dive out there. Can't believe. Can't believe I freaking died. Okay, all right. What we got over here? Okay, well, outbuilding. Holy frick. What in the what? As you see this? What in the hell was that? I don't, I don't know where I'm at at this point. Shit straight out of Dune. Uh, okay. Ion battery, wire and loom. Then I need to install the bolt caster, nanotubes, and I need some copper. A nanotube, need an ion battery, wire, uh, wire loom. Maximum, there's buried technology out there, but I don't have the ability to get it. Unfortunate. Frozen tubas. I want to know where that giant worm thing flew out of. Does it leave a hole? Oxygen and sodium, carbon. Good, good, good. Grab some of those. Get the building blocks going. Hopefully we don't have to worry about it quite as much this run. We 
should be able to stack them faster here. See how much O2 I got. So then we got a 62 oxygen, 144 sodium. It's pretty good. Collecting them pretty fast. I like that. Let's keep getting some of that. Let's keep getting carbon as well. Grabbing all the basics. Stacking up, stacking up, stacking up. This cave treat me pretty good for oxygen. Let's see how much we got. 152 on the O2. Not as much as I would hope. But that should be enough to get us going. Uh, I'm going to grab these pearls because I know they're going to be 10k a piece. Okay, well, let me grab all of them, apparently. Just a nice little, uh, little boost in the money department once we get to the station. Oh, look, and here's some more. Let's just keep going. It's going to be a little cold. But we got plenty of uh, plenty of sodium to get our way there. Good amount of oxygen, too. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, put top up on O2.
Well, we'll get ourselves a little supply cache here. Let's see if we can uh, get out of this. Maybe something useful. Okay, the hydrogen jellies. need going to need copper I'm gonna need a terrain manipulator first I guess but I don't need copper Starship, got it. Let's see about fixing you up. Pulse engine, let's go. Hermetic seal. I know, I know. You're critically damaged. Pulse got 50% to start. That's okay. Take that. Alright, right, dust for those. Go ahead and do a uh, metal plating. Okay, okay. All right, what do I gotta do now? Log, leave the planet. I don't want to leave the planet. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the planet. Since I don't have my terrain manipulator and stuff, we're just going to go ahead and leave the planet. That's a good call. We're in a Gek system. Four planets, two moons. It's like red out here. This is crazy. Answer the communicator. And put the coordinates. There we go. Alert. Navigational data received. Man, this is kind of a man, this is cool. Why is it red? Where's the where's the star here? Or the That's cool, that's cool. Okay. Let's scan this thing, see what it's got. Copper, Mordite, silver.
that's a cool sight right there with that planet. Well, we'll, take, we'll have to take a screenshot with that one for sure. Alright. Planet doesn't look like it's gonna be friendly. It could be though, we'll see. Very toxic, not friendly at all. Look at that sentinel. I want to go to the top of that mountain. Get the running everywhere. No fuel. Extract the plans for base computer and a terrain manipulator. Sick. Terrain manipulator. I definitely don't want to build a base here, though. Let's see if we can avoid this toxicity a little bit. I'll go snag some copper. are everywhere still want to get a screenshot with that ring planet Accept the Gek knowledge. Oh, look. Toxic protection. 
Yeah, noticed. Sodium. I have to make a refiner here for that copper. Hopefully I've picked up enough. to do this uh, for a refiner sick carbon let's look for copper chromatic metal I don't think I'm gonna build a base here it's too toxic so we're gonna we're gonna take that screenshot and then before I build my base computer I'm gonna go to a different planet at which time I will then build my base computer. I will say with the faster resource gathering, we're kind of cruising through this playthrough. Much faster pace. I did see that there was buried technology somewhere. Maybe it was the other planet. That's okay. I'm gonna bounce out of here. Too toxic. Oh no, I'm not gonna bounce out of here because I need launch fuel. Alright, use this 25% instead of 30 in this mode. With the better resources, I did not take the screenshot. That's okay. At this planet, and it has a moon. Uncle Mold, Ammonia, Cobalt, Copper. It's a corrosive planet. Yeah, that's gonna be so much better. pop down and see what's what looks like we got ourselves a little station over here with the landing pad so I'll take it okay search technology merchant Blueprints. Oh man, that's a that's a dope tech upgrade. I can't afford any of that right now. I'm poor. Compare. Got way more slots too. Scanner range is better. Six hundred eight thousand units. Man, if only I could have found this stuff before when I was uh actually had some stuff. Let's 
go. So all these for 100. I think that's the valuable stuff I got at the moment. Let me talk to this guy. Technology and exchange plasma launcher mode. Hold on. Is that for my starship? Where's that at? Okay, plasma launcher, you know, great installation. Oh. Yeah, let's go. That's a pretty good screenshot. That's a pretty good one. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to worry about buried technologies yet. I'm going to do that on the planet that I eventually settle on, which is not going to be this planet. This planet does have a moon, though. We can check out the moon. Go check it out. Unknown moon. Moon of Miraksha. It's kind of a cool name, honestly. Hopefully this is not a caustic planet. Some floating islands here, though. And then whatever these things are. Corrosive moon! I, you gotta love it. That's honestly crazy. Can you imagine living on a place like this and having like, a whole other planet? Like be above your head all the time? That would be nuts. I mean, I'm sure if like that's where you lived, you wouldn't give a shit, but. This place also not have it all. 
Hopefully we can find something. I discovered that planet already. Whoa, that's cool. Copper, gold, magnetized ferrite. All right. Ooh, pulse engine, insufficient fuel. Technology recharge. Gotta snag some fuel here. Okay. This doesn't look promising. But, you know, I guess I should wait till I get on the planet to find out. Really just kind of looks like this whole um, system is just not so great. not what I wanted. Anomaly strength? This it's like really purple, kind of. Discovered a strange planet. Oh, okay. Maybe there's something we can do with this. Sodium nitrates. Okay, look, temperature's okay. Let's hit this, um, hit this cave real quick. I recharge the beam. Planet's not hazardous, which is good. We got cobalt. We got fair lots of ferrite dust. Build a base here. That's pure fair, right? Okay. Apparently, I got a valuable geodes. All right. Let's see where are we on the on the log. Establish a connect, uh, base computer. Okay. Base computer. I'm gonna put that base computer. Or right, we're gonna put it right here. I'm gonna build this thing into my base.
extract the plans. Return. All right. I don't have enough carbon. Okay, let's find some carbon. Oh, that's an animal? Oh, shit. Okay, interesting. Um... Carbon might be hard to find here. Boy, oh boy. A lot of ferrite, some dehydrogen. There's just so I got condensed carbon. Plenty of that around here. I thought this would be a great place for a base, but is there seriously no carbon here? Let's go, let's go check the cave, maybe. It's like nighttime, temperatures are falling a bit. These things go for a pretty penny. Hmm. Oxygen. Sodium. Dang. No carbon, even down here. That is a bit rough, not gonna lie. Plenty of ferret. It's just, it's just carbon. Okay, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to fly off world to get carbon, even. Okay. Alright, we got the base computer built. We're on this new anomalous world, which is very strange. The bound anomaly strength negative 4.4 boundary failing. I wonder what that means. Let's look at the discoveries here and see what happens. And this is one of my wonders.
All right. Well, I got to get carbon, um, but I got to call it there for the evening. So we're going to hunt down carbon on the planet, bring it back here, build our base here, because this is a livable planet at least. Um, put down a teleporter here, and then we'll we'll be off again. Starting all over again. Hopefully, hopefully for the last time. But all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you on the next stream. Later.